So for us to remove the static port, I'm going to go back here and it's a very simple change actually. So from static equals 8080, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to remove this and my, my port is going to be empty. And whenever it's empty, what this means is that Nomad is going to take a random port and allocate to, to my container. And that and it's going to do that for all the five containers. Yeah. So this is saved. I think that's the only thing yet. That was a very, very small phase. Now let's go to the, to the definition of done. Let me plan this again. So planning the front end. Cool. So we see here that it's actually changed from static port to dynamic port. So that that's that's our change. And if I run this, so I'm gonna do nomad run. And yeah, here you can see that we created four more. Okay, let's just give a little, couple of seconds for this to come up. Let's do a status for now. So if I do a status, I can see that one is version one, which it was running previously. And then the other ones are coming up, other four. Let's switch, let's switch to the client. Uh, let's clear this mess here. Do Docker PS and okay. Now we can see something completely different. So before we had one container, but now we have more containers. We have five containers because that's the minimum that we specified for our scaling, scaling scanza stanza and so that's that's what i wanted and that's exactly the definition of done so we should be able to see five containers listening on totally random ports cool all right so that's done